Hey guys, welcome to my 19 week bump day. Almost halfway, it's crazy, this pregnancy is just flying by. I cannot believe I'm already 19 weeks. This is just wild. This week, baby is the size of a Game Boy, which I think is like super cute. This is what it shows on the phone. <laughs> I played Game Boy when I was young and it's so fun to see like Baby is the size of a Game Boy now. Baby is also the size of a hedgehog, which I feel like a hedgehog's kind of big, so yeah. Um, baby is also the size of a zucchini, so Baby is getting big. So Baby's coordination is getting better and better as the brain and the neurons are um, continuing to develop. Um, baby's also starting to sprout hair all over its body, um, which it will shed. Well, I guess I should say he. That he will shed before um, I give birth. Um, baby's also starting to develop that vernix, which is like that cheesy wax all over his body so that it like just keeps his skin like from not getting super pruney when in amniotic fluid 24-7 and also to help facilitate like traveling down the birth canal. So yeah, that's exciting. So, um, symptoms this week, um, nothing really has changed, um, my nails are growing really fast, like I was saying um, last week. I am still having crazy dreams, and I keep having dreams about baby, which is pretty interesting because I feel like with my first pregnancy, I hardly dreamed about the baby at all. This one, I'm still having dreams, and I'm still having dreams that baby is a girl, which is really weird. <laughs> I have my next doctor's appointment next week. I am so excited about it. It's I have not been to the doctor since 12 weeks. So it's been eight weeks, two months. Like that's a long time. So I'm going to go and get my anatomy scan and confirm baby's gender. Um, I will definitely let you guys know what comes out of that. So stay tuned for my 20 week bump date. Um, I'm a little nervous to go to this appointment just because um, it is like a medical office and so it's like in a building with a bunch of other medical offices so I'm not sure like if they're going to have like people taking my temperature to even get into the building or um, how it's going to be. I'm not allowed to take anyone to my appointment, it's only me. Um, so that's kind of sad, but maybe they'll let me record it or something. Um, I know they're going to give me a lot of pictures, which will be fun to look at. So it's going to be like a 45 minute ultrasound, so it's going to be long. Um, Anthony is going to watch Grayson for me, thankfully. Unfortunately, I mean, it's good and bad. Bad is Anthony got furloughed from his job just due to coronavirus. Um, but on the bright side, that means he can watch Grayson for me when I go to this appointment. I have started to experience heartburn a little bit. Uh, usually it's just in the evening, at night, like when I'm ready to go to bed. Um, and it hasn't gotten so bad yet that I have to take Tums. I know my last pregnancy towards the end, it got really, really bad. I had Tums upstairs and I had Tums downstairs because I was taking it so much. So, so far I have not had to use Tums yet, but I know that is coming. Um, I'm still pretty hungry all the time. I eat a lot. I'm still pretty tired all the time. I have been having a hard time falling back asleep once I wake up in the middle of the night, which happens a lot because I have to pee a lot. Um, so that's been really hard. And then, of course, that makes me tired during the day. I've also found like my energy levels are very low. Um, I find myself like not wanting to do things around the house because I'm just so tired. Um, it also could be because of this whole coronavirus thing. I feel like it's really affecting my mood. I go through days where, you know, I'm like, everything's going to be okay. And then I also have days where I'm like, this is never going to end. And the world sucks right now. <laughs> so a lot of, you know, pregnancy emotions, hormones going crazy. It's not the best time to be pregnant right now. <laughs> I've been getting a lot more headaches lately. Uh, not sure if that's um, related to... My allergy symptoms, I'm still sneezing a ton. Um, my nose is always like feeling like I need to sneeze, which is really annoying. Um, I don't have too much of like a runny nose or anything like that. Sometimes when I first wake up in the morning, it'll be bad, but right now it's really just the sneezing. And a lot of times when I sneeze, I have like this round ligament pain in my um, 
uterus area and I don't feel like with my first pregnancy I I noticed that much ligament round ligament pain but this time I'm experiencing a lot of it um, if I you know move in a weird way too fast or if I sneeze or whatever I'll feel like a, a sensation in my uterus it's like uncomfortable sometimes it's kind of crampy but a lot of times it just like comes and goes really fast like it doesn't stick around it's not anything that I'm worried about it's just my body like stretching to accommodate maybe um, every day I feel baby more and more. It's still very um, inconsistent. Um, some days I feel more than others. A lot of the times it's just when I'm sitting and not moving and I can focus on baby. Um, but it's nice to feel him here and there. Um, Anthony has felt baby. Uh, he was just having his hand on my stomach one time and he felt baby kick, which was super exciting. Um, so yeah, it's fun feeling him. I know it's going to get more consistent and um, bigger as he gets bigger, but for now it's still like very light jabs. I still have a ton of saliva in my mouth. I'm still dealing with acne a lot. I haven't talked about acne in the past couple weeks, but I still am dealing with it. It's not as bad as it used to be though, but I am, I do have like spots here and there. I haven't really had um, any cravings lately? I'm just hungry a lot of the time. Not so much for snack foods, I just want like big meals. Um, if I do crave something, a lot of times it's like um, sweets. Like I've been craving donuts and cookies a lot. Um, we have a package of chocolate chip cookies, which I should make today actually. <laughs> and I've been craving, I've really wanted to um, make them and I just, I've been so lazy, I've been so lazy this pregnancy that I just, I haven't made them yet. <laughs> My belly is getting bigger, I will give you a belly shot. Again, every, I don't know why, but every time I film these I have like loose um, shirts on. This one's probably like the worst one because it's like kind of a sweatshirt type shirt. Um, but here is my belly. It's definitely gotten way bigger this week and my belly button has gotten bigger. Like, um, like last pregnancy with Grayson, towards the end, like, my belly button basically became flat because my belly got so big so I'm totally expecting that to happen again. I don't think it popped, um, so we'll see how this pregnancy goes, but um, my belly is big, but I, f I am surprised that it's not bigger with this being my second pregnancy. Um, even my mom has commented that to me. She thought I would be bigger quicker, and so far I've gained, I have gained like seven pounds so far. Um, although I did weigh myself like right after eating a big meal, so I'm not sure. Because the time before that, I had gained three pounds. So I went from three pounds to seven pounds, so that seems kind of drastic. Which could happen, I don't weigh myself weekly, I just weigh it whenever I remember to, so it's like maybe once a month. Um, so last time I did weigh myself, I did gain 7 pounds, which is fine. Um, I'm shooting for anywhere between 25 to 35 pounds, so I am doing just fine on that. I have to pee all the time, like I was saying. Um, I wake up in the middle of the night all the time. Um, I have to make sure I'm going to the bathroom frequently because if I don't and I have kind of a fuller bladder and I have to sneeze, then I end up like wetting my pants a little bit because I just can't um, hold it, I guess. <laughs> I get hot really easily at night. I'm usually pretty hot. Um, and if I just do like any sort of activity, then I get pretty hot pretty easily. So summer should be really interesting. I'm going to go through the whole summer pregnant, so ooh, it's going to be it's going to be interesting. I think that's kind of it. Again, really not much changing um, from last week to this week symptom wise. A lot of it's just been like my emotions. It's just like a really hard time, like I said earlier, a really hard time to be pregnant. And it's a lot of emotions and a lot of unknowns. I don't do well with unknowns. I like to plan things out. And so it's kind of scary not knowing like what hospitals are going to be like in September when I give birth. Um, are we going to be able to have visitors? Is Grayson going to be able to visit us in the hospital? Um, am I going to have to wear a mask in the hospital? Like it's very hard to know what life is going to be like in September. So that's been really hard for me to try to deal with and um, just 
just different emotions that I've been feeling. You know, we're cooped up in our houses. It's been really cold lately, so we haven't been getting out on walks or anything. So it's just hard to, um, you know, keep positive in this time. But if you are pregnant in the same boat, you know, I hope you're doing well. You know, I hope you're, you're staying positive during this time and just looking forward to the small things. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you are notified when I post my 20 week um, update because I will have all the information for my 20 week doctor's appointment and the anatomy scan. I'm going to have new pictures. You're not going to want to miss it. So make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!